over to Grace from IPI and I just want to identify a couple of calibration errors that can turn up depending on which buffers you're using. So we can see here that I have three different transmitters on three different probes. This transmitter here on the left has been calibrated to pH 4 buffer, on the middle has been calibrated to pH 10 buffer, and the one on the end has been calibrated to pH 12 buffer. Now in the sink here, I've got a couple of different solutions. One of them is quite acidic, one of them is quite basic. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all the probes into each solution and see what numbers we get at the other side. Let's start with the basic solution. So we got all the probes, let's just try and see what was this about and see what numbers we're going to come up with. Now, if we look at our values, the, the transmitter calibrated to pH 4 is giving us a 10.1 on this solution. I don't know the pH of this solution, it's just some dishwasher fluid mixed up in some water. Now, the one in the middle, calibrated to a pH 10 buffer, is giving us the pH 10.4. And the one on the end, calibrated to pH 12, is giving us pH 10.3. As you can see, all of these numbers are quite different, depending on what we've calibrated to. There's a simple calibration error based off of the way that a pH sensor operates. And one of the things you want to try and do is avoid calibration errors by calibrating to the, as close to the target pH that you're looking for. Now let's have a look at the acidic solution. The acidic solution. And still going, still going. So this the sensor calibrated to pH 4. So we're reporting about 0 0.52, 0 0.5, 0 0.49 we've come down to there. The sensor calibrated to pH 10, we're giving a 0 0.37, 0 0.32 thereabouts, 0 0.3, and the sensor calibrated to pH 12. It's reporting around about a 0.2. So as you can see, we have a different pH measurement across these sensors depending on what we've calibrated to. Now the next question is which one would you trust? Well for this one here, given that we've got an acidic solution, it's a lot lower than our target pH, but I would be most happy with the sensor on the left. I would be most happy with this transmitter calibrated to pH 4 rather than calibrated to a basic solution such as pH 10 or 12.